Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another kind of chill uh, drift episode. Um, I'm in the Zona Industriella. Yeah, I'm trying to make that sound a little bit interesting, but it's really not. Uh, but yeah, I'm in 240 SX. It's probably my favourite car right now. Um, it's my team car right now as well. So if you see me using this car a lot, um, it is because it is pretty much my, my best car. Nice little wall tap right there at the start of the episode. Uh, but yeah, pretty much as you can probably see, I do have like this support on my left um, hand. Um, so if I do fuck up sometimes, it might be because of my thumb. I really, really hurt my thumb. I was playing football or soccer if you're from America or wherever. Um, and I went for a sliding tackle. And like, say this is the ground, my thumb got stuck in the ground and it bent the other way and I think it got dislocated I haven't been to the doctors yet because you know I'm a man <laughs> but you know it really hurts um, I think I dislocated it and it's gone back in but it's not gone back in right if you know what I mean I don't know uh, but it feels really weird so if I do start like flinching um, messing up or something uh, then you do know why um, probably going to be because of that and I'm trying not to kind of get my fun involved but it's hard seeing if it's a steering wheel <laughs> and you have to kind of hold it around with your fun so that's that that's a good story <laughs> pretty good story but yeah I never really do this line I see a lot of people doing this line um, but I never really get involved myself it's a very good line I'm not going to lie for tandems it could be pretty sick because um, it's some very long Kind of flowing corners. The only thing I don't like about this section is kind of open, so you kind of go wide, you can go inside. Uh, so, like trying to tandem and stuff, uh, you could go out of sync quite a bit, I suppose, because you'd be doing like different speeds inside, outside. Oh my god, where did you just come from? Uh, but yeah, I don't know if you all have heard the news, uh, but there is a fast and furious. Oh my god, I fucked up. There is a fast and furious. Um, expansion pack coming out um, for Forza Horizon 2 and to be honest I haven't been stoked for any of the expansion packs at all I haven't played Storm Island, I haven't got any of the car downloads at all uh, because they just haven't floated my cup of tea and I'm not going to say um, that Turn 10 have done well because they haven't because they haven't got me involved one little bit um, I haven't enjoyed any of the cars they've brought out but when I look at the Fast and Furious expansion pack, there is a couple of cars that I want to use. The Toyota Supra Fast and Furious Edition, and the Nissan GTR Fast and Furious Edition, and the, um, I think it's the Barracuda, I don't, I don't know, correct, don't quote me on that, but it's the muscle car uh, with like the engine coming out the top. Um, and I can't wait to use those cars. Um, I, I don't know why, it's just for some reason this expansion pack has really caught me. And this is probably going to be like one of the only expansion packs I actually buy. Um, it's like you're probably thinking this is pretty weird because I'm a Forza YouTuber. I've got 10,000 subscribers. Um, I should be buying these car packs, but do you know what? Unlike any other person, if these do not, if they do not kind of catch me. If they don't cite me the packs, why would I buy them? Why would I buy them? If you, if I wasn't a Forza YouTuber, I wouldn't buy them either. So. I don't see the point of just buying packs just to get views, if you know what I mean. Uh, because I'm not going to enjoy it, it's just a waste of money. And people just do it to get views, to make money off their views, basically. To just make back the amount of money they just made on the pack. So, that's my opinion. Um, personally, not one pack has kind of got me involved. Maybe the day one uh, with the Golf R. Because um, obviously when you start off, you are a little bit... A little bit leave it, uh, not many cars in the garage, etc. So, to have a Golf R, it's pretty sick. Um, I got that one because I did get the game on day one. Um, I keep coming into here like too slow or too fast, I'm never like perfectly good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've never really got a pack, and, like a car pack, an expansion, an expansion pack like Storm Island. Like, when I look at Storm Island, I just think. Why would I off-road? <laughs> like, personally, I'm not an off-roader, so it doesn't interest me one little bit. Maybe if they brought out a drift expansion pack, I'd be all over that. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'd be, I'd probably be 
the first to download it, I'll be waiting to download it at the time they release it. Um, there's stuff like that, like for certain people, off-road expansion pack, probably hit the nail on the head. Uh, but for me, it's just like why would I waste my money on it? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna off-road. I'm trying to drift over there. That's a really big struggle. Um, I was watching like this that train and stuff trying to drift over there, and I was like, yep, not buying it for drifting. I'm not gonna buy it for off-roading. For just grit racing, I haven't really got involved in grit racing on this game. Um, so it doesn't involve me, like, I don't know if it's anyone else has got the same opinion as me. Um, the fact that car packs, I only buy them if I like the cars in them, I don't buy them just for the sake that there's a car pack, you know what I mean. Uh, like, I haven't actually bought one. I was thinking about getting the season cards, this um, Horizon 2, but I just thought, if I buy the season cards, what am I going to get in it? Some shit, fucking muscle cards that I don't give a shit about. Um, so... That's my opinion anyway. I do, I do, I like muscle cars. They've grown on me. Um, obviously I am mainly JDM kind of based. I'm not going to lie, but muscle cars, the Dodge Charger, probably not one of my best drift cars. Like, I'm not going to get away from that. Uh, it's an amazing car. I love a V8. <laughs> and it's all good. It's all good. So, like a lot of people, they want to see me play Storm Island, I'm not going to lie, I've had a few messages like you're going to play Storm Island, you're going to play Storm Island, but it's like, I'm not going to enjoy it. Why would I record me playing something I'm not enjoying? It's, it's really weird. It was like the crew, I started I started a series on the crew, and I was using the wheel on it, and the force feedback on the crew is the worst force feedback I've ever experienced in all my life, but seeing as it is an arcade game, it's not real force feedback. You're using the force feedback for an arcade game, so you're turning in and I'm like counter steering because I'm expecting the car to counter steer. But you didn't have to do that. You just had to steer in and go back to the middle. But I used to go for counter steer uh, because, well, I, was, I just thought it was realistic. And I wasn't enjoying the game, and so I just stopped the series. Um, a lot of people uh, say, like, where's this series gone? Where's that series? But the reason I would stop the series is mainly because I'm not enjoying it and the videos basically won't be very good because, you know what, I'm not enjoying the game so why would I have a vibrant kind of commentary if you know what I mean? Obviously I'm, I'm not the most excited, happy person in the world, um, as you probably tell if you've been subscribed for a while, uh, but you know what, some games get me hyped. Um, FIFA, I shout a lot, like, yeah, you can get involved in games like that because obviously being from the UK, football is probably one of the main sports, and I was kind of involved in football since I was like six years old, so, kind of involved with black cars, I've had an interest since like secondary school, kind of around like 12 plus kind of mark, uh, 12 year old kind of onwards. Um, obviously it was only like a mild interest, maybe like Fast and Furious got me involved. Um, uh, what else can get me involved? Um, do you know what? Going, well, going into school um, and playing like, you know like the Flash games that they didn't ever let you go on the websites. Playing like Flash games, cars, like those, oh, I can't remember what it's called. What was that drag racing game where you could save your game on a drag racing game? I think it was like Drag Racer or something or whatever. And it was so sick. I used to just play that at school all the time. Um, it's games like that got me involved with cars. Um, football has involved since the start. Um, but yeah, if the game's not enjoyable, well, I'm not... Really? really? Look how close he just came. <laughs> I even rewinded it to see, man. Okay, what the hell has happened? Right. Um, but yeah, if I'm not enjoying it, I'm not going to record it because it's not going to be enjoyable to watch. Um, and that's one thing about my channel, I don't like releasing videos that aren't good. Obviously, maybe I might have a rendering issue or a sync issue, um, but I can't help that. I might have liked the video, um, but it's a sync uh, issue, and normally, I delete my clip straight after I rendered, so normally I do that and then I realise, oh shit, it's not synced. Um, but sometimes the syncing is mainly because of YouTube. Um, 
a lot of my videos, um, I put them up, and they're just unsynced. I'm just like, I just spent ages waiting for this to render because I synced it up really good. And then all of a sudden you upload to YouTube and it's like, oh, sorry, it's, it's not synced anymore. Uh, but yeah, the quality should be a little bit better. I did moan about my quality um, last episode. Um, it's being a little bit bad, a little bit fuzzy, but it should be a little bit better. Let me know if you like the quality or not. Um, the sound should be okay, uh, but I'll have to check the sounds in a second. Obviously I can't tell right now, but yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. A little bit different, talking about random stuff. And yeah, 12 minutes. I'll see you guys next time.